Devin mm. went from zero to over 100,000 followers on Instagram in the last 100 days, here's how. And this is during a time where everyone is out there complaining that there is no organic reach, you can't grow, Instagram is hiding content and doesn't want to see anyone succeed. Instagram isn't dead, you just need the right strategy. We're going to show you today. And Devin hasn't just gained followers for the sake of followers. He's also managed to turn this audience that he's grown in the space of three months to a business that is generating him $30,000 per month. But we'll dive into that later in the video. Now, I messaged Devin before making this video, hopped on a call with him, and he actually decided that he'd want to give away his templates that he used for his content, which allowed him to go viral and grow this fast. So later in the video, I'm going to be showing how you can get those entirely free. Now, if we take a look at Devin's Instagram account, we can see that he posted his first video on the platform on October 25th. And this video was about the best strategy to create viral videos. He then posted a week later about wearing a blue shirt in your content to build more trust. Followed by a third video another week later about using a Zoom feature in your reels to get people to watch your content for longer, which would lead to an increase in your reach. And then after these three videos that he posted a week apart, he moved to posting daily. Now you might be wondering why is someone with a brand new Instagram account giving away tips and tricks on how to create viral videos and how to build an audience. Now, turns out he used to be a gamer and had built a large audience on TikTok all about Fortnite. So this wasn't his first rodeo. He understood how to create content and that's why he is sharing those secrets. Now, after his first six weeks on the platform, he'd posted a total of 38 videos, just under once per day, because those first two weeks, he only posted three videos. And inside each video, he focused on three core things to make them perform well. Firstly, is an obvious one that I've talked about on this channel over and over again, and that is a powerful hook to grab people's attention. Sometimes this is a controversial one. He really turned up the controversy in his content, sometimes even swearing in the opening of a video and obviously blurring it out or bleeping it out and sometimes just giving a controversial take. What this did is it hooked people in and got them to stop the scroll and actually watch his content. Now the second thing that he did is something that he explained to me when we were on the phone and that is every single time he goes to create a piece of content he tries to focus on how he can give an actionable tip or an actionable strategy that people can implement that day to see results. He has no interest in telling you something that will give you results in three months or six months or 12 months. He wants to give you an actionable tip you can follow today to improve what you're doing. So instead of creating a reel telling people to post every single day for three months, he would instead tell people to use a specific hook to generate more views on your content. And then people could later that day go and create a piece of content using that hook and he would grow his audience. Obviously, there was also the other tips of wearing a, a blue shirt in his content to get more views. You could go and apply that tip that day. He has other videos about optimizing your profile, which again, Again, you could go and optimize your profile that day to improve your results. And then the third thing that he did with all of his content is really engaging editing. This was a good mixture of cuts, subtitles, effects, music, and just being comfortable on camera himself, which came from filming. You can see in his first couple videos, he's a little bit more nervous. If you look at his content now, he's much more engaging. Let's take a look at one of his recent videos so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Stop using profile pictures like this. Instead, go to pfpmaker.com and upload your picture there. Select a clean background with a solid color. This will help your viewers connect a color to your brand and making you easier to remember. Bonus tip, according to UX design, the best performing colors on social media are blue, yellow, and black. So keep that in mind. Save this post and follow me for more. So as we can see, that fits into the three things that he always tries to focus on. One, it's got a strong hook. Stop using a profile picture like this. That is gonna grab people's attention. Second, it's got an actionable tip that people can follow today. Go to pfpmaker.com and go and get a nice nice looking profile picture. And then third, he's made sure he's edited it in a way that is engaging. He speaks with confidence, he speaks clearly, he's added nice effects, he's added a short screen recording, and he's made it short, sharp, to the point. Now a bonus tip that he mentioned that he does in his videos is he asks himself one question before posting. Is this worth $5? As in, would someone pay $5 for this information? Now naturally, if you aim to make content so good that people would pay money for it and then you give it to them for free and it's not going to take up a ton of their time, then they're going to engage with it. If you create a five hour video and it's like, would someone pay $5 for this? 
five dollars is probably worth a lot less than their time their time for that five hours of content might be hundreds of dollars and so it's a little bit different when you go for long form but when you're creating short form content and people only have to invest 10 seconds it's like can you give someone more than five dollars worth of value for 10 seconds of their time if you can do that you're going to grow fast now to create a piece of content that is worth five dollars you have to really look at yourself and you either need to come up with something new that people haven't heard before or you have to come up with a concept people already know but explain it in a better way that is then easier to digest easier to understand easier to then act on for people to actually get results which is more often not going to be the more common pathway how can you better explain something because you can't just sit there and give the exact same advice that 100 people have already heard and expect it to be worth more than five dollars because if someone's already seen a hundred other people say the exact same thing no one's going to pay five dollars for you to say it again now if we take a look at his social blade stats we can see after these six weeks of posting content where he'd posted i think i said 36 times he'd gone from zero to thirteen thousand nine hundred and eighty five followers which is a pretty darn good effort but more importantly he had 36 pieces of content to review and find little trends and data from that would allow him to improve his content going forward and get even better results and as well as that he'd built his initial community now once you've experimented with your own content on instagram and you've got data as to what is working and what isn't working you can go ahead and look at that to then improve your content once you've done that it led to him creating this drill that i'm going to play on the screen right now your tags are dead stop focusing on them for reach instead here's three instagram hacks to make you f famous number one before you post your reel go to add topics and choose three of the best topics that best describe your video two if you're posting a photo head to the feature name alt text and describe your post when describing your post use as many keywords as possible and this will help you rank higher in search number three it's the same concept as before instead with captions make your caption as keyword rich as possible while summarizing the content within your post don't forget to save this post and follow me for more that post that he created there that reel went ahead and got 253,000 likes from over 4 million views and this came because he'd posted nearly 40 pieces of content figured out what was working what wasn't and then created something based on that and again it followed those three key things that we talked about his opening line was hashtags are dead he followed it up with an actionable tip that people can do today and he made sure that the editing was engaging short sharp and to the point on top of that it's probably also worth five dollars if you can increase your reach and now whilst i don't believe hashtags are dead and we're seeing really really good results using hashtags i don't think you should focus on them as much as people do i think people should do their hashtag research once or maybe twice a month include hashtags in their content but don't spend all day obsessing on them nonetheless this video like i said got over 200,000 likes and skyrocketed its growth and this is the potential that reels have if you get the formula right now if we take a look at my screen we can see that devon posted this on january 4th if we come across to his social blade we can see that on january 4th he had 12,143 followers and we can see the next few days he gained decent growth he gained 1200 500 600 uh, and so it looks like after the first three days the reel had an initial boost on day one where he gained a ton of followers a lot more than usual the next two days the growth sort of dropped off the reels probably didn't do as well as he was hoping and then it just shot up on the 8th he gained 1600 followers on the 9th he gained 3000 4000 3700 2700 2600 2500 2700 then 5000 followers in a day and ever since then has been absolutely crushing it so this reel did really well on day one day two and three it did okay and then day four it picked up and took off and this sometimes happens with reels they don't always blow up on the day that you post them sometimes it takes time which is why you shouldn't be deleting content and instead you should be looking at how can you create the best content post it and if it doesn't do amazing for views that's okay now once he found a strategy that worked with reels he stuck with it which led to him posting this reel which got over 200,000 views this reel getting 400,000 views this reel going ahead and getting a hundred thousand and in this one hitting nearly 700,000 views and just three weeks after he'd hit 13,000 followers he'd taken his account to over 80,000 followers on Instagram and his business to beyond $20,000 a month now before we get into how he monetizes his audience and how you can get his templates for free there's a few key takeaways here first you got to follow me on Instagram Devin actually followed me on Instagram early days got inspiration from one of my reels and I'm sure the content might have helped him grow an audience I'll claim that anyway the real first strategy that we can take away from Devin is you must optimize your profile 
profile. This is a surefire way to increase your growth two, three, four times over. If you optimize your profile correctly, you will grow so much faster. Second, you need an engaging format of content. You can post reels, you can post carousels, you can post single images, doesn't matter as long as you create engaging content. Any format will work if you create it in the right way. Strong hook, valuable insights, keep it to the point, present it in a way that looks good. And third, be okay with hate comments. Naturally, if you go aggressive with your content and try and create stuff with a strong hook, strong message, and give away a ton of free value, you're going to get people leave mean comments. That's just part of the territory, sadly. Look at anyone with a large audience and some of their comments are gonna be rude, bad, terrible. There's no real way to avoid it. Just learn not to take it personally. Now, like I said at the start of the video, followers are great, but they don't mean much if they don't actually grow your business. Three months after starting his page, Devin is already making over $20,000 a month. And the first stream of income is through digital products, which makes up about a third of his income. And the beauty of digital products is once you set them up and put in the work once to build them, it is passive income that just comes in at no extra work to you. The process to set this up is also relatively simple. Firstly, you gotta understand your audience's pain point and for Devin's audience this was creating great content at scale that was what he was helping people to do that was the pain that people had and so what you then want to do is build a digital product around it so Devin went ahead and created two digital products the first one was a content calendar which allows you to schedule all of your content for the month and then his second product was plug and play scripts that people could use to create better content. So he was helping you create better content and schedule it so you can get it out there consistently. He sold these products, one for $17 and the other for 87. He builds these templates out in Notion once, he lists them for sale, he puts them in his bio, and then he gets paid as he grows his audience for no additional work. People will simply see his content, wanna learn more, go to his bio, purchase the templates, they get access to them, it's no extra work for him, and he's able to make thousands of dollars a week from doing so. There's a ton of tools out there that will allow you to sell digital downloads. He uses Gumroad, which is a tool that I've actually used in the past, but I've actually recently moved to a tool called Stan because Gumroad charges 10% transaction fees. So if you're doing $10,000 a month in sales through your business, you have to pay Gumroad $1,000 a month simply for processing those transactions, which is a lot of money. These guys used to charge like $10 a month as a flat fee, and now it's 10%. So if you make a lot of money, you're literally paying them thousands a month. Now there's other tools out there like Teachable, which I've used in the past and still use, and I pay $100 a month for that one. But this new tool called Stan, is a full link and bio tool that also allows you to create and sell digital products, digital courses, all of that for just $29 a month. So I've moved over there and think they're awesome. There's no transaction fees or any of that. So instead of paying thousands of dollars a month to something like Gumroad, you can just create an account with Stan, get a free trial with my affiliate link down below, and then it's $29 a month after that. So a bit of a no brainer. So if you wanna get started creating and selling digital products, that's how I would do it. I recently found Stan, I wish I found them sooner. This isn't sponsored by them, I am an affiliate, but I just think it's a great tool that'll help. Now the other way that he monetizes his audience is through his services. And this is where a big portion of money will come from. What he does is he displays his services and his results in his content. So he shows people how he's grown an audience or how a client's monetized his audience. People will then click the link in his bio, they book a call with them, they jump on the phone and then he will sell them services based on what they need on the back end. It's a relatively similar model to me. I create free content here on YouTube and on Instagram, giving people value. And then if people want specific help, one-on-one -on -one services, done for you services, etc., then they can reach out, we'll see what they need and we'll go from there. All you need here is a valuable offer. So again, you wanna figure out what your target audience wants and then create it. Now, when you're looking to sell higher price products, you need a more valuable solution. So you can't just sell someone a template. Instead, you might sell them one-on-one -on -one consulting. You might sell them a done for you service where you will go and get the result. You might be selling the same result to people, grow an audience on social media, but instead of selling them a template, you're selling them an hour of your time to help them do that. Or you're selling them content that you will create for them them that will achieve that result. 
then once you've got that great offer you just need to create content to drive awareness like devon's done like i do here on youtube like a lot of people do and that is how you can build an audience to generate a ton of customers and that's what all of my clients do as well now i've left a link in the description to devon's instagram if you want to check him out he's just passed i think about 105,000 followers and growing thousands per day so he's smashing it hopefully this video was helpful taking a look at how he's done it and like i mentioned at the start of the video he's kindly offered his templates that he uses to create content entirely free for the next 48 hours after this video goes live so to claim those all you have to do is head over to my instagram account cleverpreneur follow the account click the link in bio and then there will be a link there where you can go and download the notion templates entirely free the same ones that devon used to gain over 100k followers in 100 days that's it from me let me know who you want to see me do a breakdown of next and i'll make that happen showing you how they grew an audience how they monetized it and all of the behind the scenes sort of tricks that you might not spot yourself but if you enjoyed it leave a like and i will see you in the next one